here we are at the engineering school, the School of Engineering and, and Applied Science, with our 1972 solar module, donated by Mark Perez for an afternoon of testing. As you can see, we have 35 cells that are monosilicon from ingots, not cut. And we're at this moment, they're operating at a voltage of about 15, 15 volts. And we're charging a battery right here. Initially, we expected a much lower output because these modules here are from 1972, so almost 40 years old. And many panel manufacturers these days give an 80% energy yield warranty after 20 years of operating. So what we see here is pretty remarkable that old solar panel technology is still operating at a really, really well rate. So what we have is we have a little um, multimeter here attached. So we're doing some voltage testing right now. and. We also set it to the amps uh, setting so that we could measure the current. The current was about uh, 2, 2 amps. So 15 volts, 2 amps, that's about 30 watts. The total surface area of all these little cells, as you can see, they're like 4 inch uh, wafers. The total surface area is uh, uh, like a third of a square meter. So 30 watts with a third of a square meter is an almost 10% efficiency, which is pretty remarkable for, for these panels. Typical other solar panels that are produced right now, of the monocrystalline type, they are about 18% uh, percent efficient. But back then, the rated efficiency was, was much lower, obviously. So this is our little setup that we use for the project. Usually we connect it with CIGS panels, but right now we only have one hooked up. Not according to all the installation rules. We just rolled the connections around the, the poles and made it happen. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and you can follow us on our website, solarjourneyusa.com. Bye.